Nobody wants to talk about the cost of things going up. I mean, honestly, do you really want to go refinance your mortgage and find out that the price is going to be more than the previous mortgage that you signed? Or go and purchase a new car and have to pay just a little extra? That's just the way things are when an economy is going well. And the fact is, is the United States has been doing so well for so long, it was only a matter of time until interest rate hikes started to become the norm. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. Today, instead of talking about stock market news, we're talking about the economy in general, specifically the Federal Reserve down in the United States had its final meeting of 2017 and the final meeting in the career of Fed Chair Janet Yellen. And what did the central bank do? Well, they raised the rates. I think everybody expected that coming in. The rates were raised from 1.25% to 1.5%. So a quarter percent raise. It's not overtly significant, but it is still a quarter percent. And that's what the forecast of 2018 having three potential rate hikes in that calendar year as well. Now, there were some really good talking points when the Fed met, and that's that uh, GDP for 2018 was expected to be about 2.1%. Now they're expecting, with the corporate tax reform bill going through, it could be closer to 2.4%. So that's a nice bump, and Janet Yellen mentioned how strong that's going to help, how much that's going to help the economy grow. And that's exactly what we want to see, is the economy continue to grow stronger, even with some interest rate hikes that I think we're all going to end up feeling. Well, I'm a Canadian, but we're having interest rate hikes up here as well, rest assured. But you guys down in the lower 48 and the 50 states that make up the United States are going to feel this a little bit. But on the flip side... There's been some fairly soft inflation numbers. In fact, inflation numbers, the CPI number for October was 1.8. It's down to 1.7 for November. And Janet Yellen said the Fed is definitely monitoring the soft inflation number. They're trying to get that target around the 2% mark, not around, uh, not around 1.8 or 1.7. So soft inflation is definitely on the agenda. We're going to have to see what the new Fed chair in 2018 decides to do about that. Some of the other talking points mentioned by Ms. Yellen were that she does not see the stock market as overvalued. In fact, she sees no problem at all with the financial or economic stability of what the stock market is currently doing, but she also made a little side note in saying that economists aren't normally right about a lot of this stuff. In fact, they get it wrong a lot of the time, but everybody kind of gets stuff wrong in the stock market. As much as we want to believe we're doing all our research, things end up changing on us regardless of all the due diligence that we end up doing. So Ms. Yellen did point out that while the Fed doesn't see the growth in the stock market and all the highs we see in the Dow Jones, the S&P being any kind of economic indicator of things being overblown, she does mention that economists do kind of have a track record of getting this wrong. Lastly, for the first time, Janet Yellen, on her way out as Fed Chair at the Federal Reserve, mentioned Bitcoin. That's right, I know we all love Bitcoin. Janet Yellen mentioned that Bitcoin is not a stable store of value. Yeah, when your money is up and down so drastically, how can anybody expect to change goods or services for anything of a particular value, knowing that that actual currency, if you can call it that, is gonna change its tangible value so quickly. I agree, Miss Yellen. She also said it's highly speculative, but she pointed out that they will be monitoring any banks that are dealing in Bitcoin in relation to any type of money laundering or anything else. And you've got to believe that the tax man is also monitoring anybody who happens to be doing any transactions in Bitcoin. So there you have it. The central bank met for the final time in 2017, a rate hike from 1.25% to 1.5% with three rate hikes coming in 2018 
proposed. I mean, it's, it's, it's not for sure, but this is what we're talking about. It's the proposal of three rate hikes with an economy doing so well and GDP growing from 2.1% to 2.4% on the back of tax reform. I'm Cody from Wall Street Breakdown. I thank you for stopping by on what is a marvelous Wednesday. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. We want to know what you think about what the central bank is doing. Do you think it was time to get this rate hike done? Personally, I think the economy's been doing so well. People have been making a lot of money. It was only a matter of time before the government comes back to take a little bit of theirs. Have yourself an excellent rest of your Wednesday.